it's go time with go time so in this video i'm gonna share with you why go time bank is now my new favorite digital bank okay so video ito i'm gonna share with you how you can easily open an account and the features and benefits niya tapos how you can get a free debit card in go time so yeah let's go So sa dami-daming mga digital banks ngayon, paiba-iba yung favorite ko. In fact, if you've been following my channel, so yung first favorite ko was ING. Unfortunately ngayon, um, wala na yung ING here in the Philippines. Tapos yung next favorite digital bank ko was uh, Como. However, si Como parang they failed to innovate kasi eh. Parang kulang yung features nila, hindi gaano kadami yung features nila. Tapos, ayun nga, like 2.5% lang yung interest niya. However, right now, nakita ko si GoTime. So... Uh, tapos in terms of features and benefits, parang nagustuhan ka talaga. And in this video, yan yung ishishare ko sa'yo. However, before that, uh, ano ba yung GoTime? So, si GoTime, they are the uh, digital bank, actually one of the first license, officially licensed ng BSP as a digital bank. Uh, kasi here in the Philippines, so far, parang six. Six lang yung officially licensed digital bank. So, if you don't know ano yung six digital banks, I'll put a link top right of this video. You can check that out. Kasi some of the so-called digital banks, they're actually not digital banks. So example like CIMB, they're actually a commercial bank. Yung, yung uh, C-Bank and Como, they're actually a rural bank. So GoTime is an officially licensed digital bank by BSP. Tapos, who owns GoTime ba? So uh, GoTime is actually owned by Robinsons, uh, yeah, uh, by the Gokong Way na company. So, kaya go time. Oh. So, like, the owner of Robinson, uh, JG Summit, sila yung owner ng go time. So, uh, why, what, uh, that's why I love about them kasi they're actually backed by a traditional solid company. So, yan yung go time. And then, currently, go time is actually giving 5% interest per year sa savings account. Tapos, this will be credited monthly sa account mo. So, it's pretty solid na interest rate then. Tapos, uh, this is actually the best part in GoTime. Like, it's really super easy to create an account. Like, sa so sobrang easy, ayun nga, uh, I was supposed to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create an account, but sa so sobrang easy, uh, ilan lang yung na-screenshot ko. But basically, ito yung steps. Like, just go to your App Store or Play Store and download the uh, GoTime Digital Bank account. Tapos, uh, ayun nga, sa so sobrang easy, when I started doing the doing at uh, create an account ito lang yung na screenshot ko so just make sure you uh, ready yung official or valid id mo so as i was already filling up yung details so just fill up the details uh, took a, take a picture of the the valid id tapos uh, selfie and then ayun nga so sobrang easy to follow yung steps uh, ito lang yung ito lang yung nakuha kong screenshot okay so basically uh, uh, as i was uh, filling up yung details uh, Tapos na pala. Tapos na pala. So, ito na lang yung nakuha kong screenshot. Uh, your account is now ready to go. So, sobrang easy talaga to create. Just download it. Follow the instructions. Just make sure meron kang valid ID. Uh, take a selfie. And then, boom. Meron ka ng account in GoTime. And ito din. Uh, once meron ka ng account in GoTime, actually, meron silang free debit card. Free debit card. And makukuha mo yung debit card if you go sa mga GoTime kiosk. Itong mga GoTime kiosk, they usually located in Robinson's Mall, um, probably near the supermarket. So, you just go there, tapos uh, just log in your account, and I believe makukuha mo na kaagad yung, yung, yung debit card mo. Anyway, uh, ganito yung gawin natin. Let's actually go to a Robinson's Mall, and kuha tayo ng, uh, ng GoTime debit card. So yeah, let's go! GoTime! Printing debit card. Ayun, printing na yung debit card. So, me and my wife, meron kaming debit go time account. Just go to your nearest Robinson Robinson Mall. <laughs> Alright, my turn. Printing your debit card. It's go time. And that's it. That's how fast it is to get a GoTime debit card. Alright! Alright! So yeah, ganun lang kadali. Meron na tayong official GoTime debit card. So sobrang ganda, di ba? Like, uh, this is one of the coolest debit card uh, na meron ako. So yeah, ganun lang kadali to get a GoTime debit 
card. So, ang yung nangyari is basically like, yung, yung username mo in your account, you log in dun sa kiosk nila. Tapos, uh, yun nga, parang you log in, tapos may OTP request to print a card. And in just few seconds, meron ka ng, uh, meron ka ng debit card. And if you think na parang uh, natatakot ka or what, don't worry kasi meron naman mga, meron naman mga personal uh, willing to assist you to to print your debit card. So ngayon, let's talk about the features and benefits naman of GoTime account. So when you open the GoTime app, so this is how it looks like. So it's very, uh, it's very clean, it's very minimalistic, tapos it's actually very easy to navigate. So dito makikita mo yung, yung main account mo, yung Go Rewards mo, yung Go Save, tapos yung debit Card. So let's talk each of these. So first is your main account, mo. So di di to basically di to papasuk yung cash in mo. So let's say magkakash in ka di to yun papasuk. Tapos this is also the this is also where your debit card is connected. So if you're gonna use yung debit card mo, ah, uh, etong main account di to madededak yung yung every time you use yung debit card. Tapos um I believe yung main account mo wala siyang interest. If I'm not mistaken, ah, wala siyang interest. What you need to do is from your main account, you need to transfer it dun sa GoSave account mo. So, you can actually just move your funds uh, around. So, from your main account to GoSave, tapos from your GoSave, pwede mo siyang i... i uh, again, sa main account mo, parang wala siyang interest, tapos for it to earn interest, punta sa GoSave. Tapos, kapag kikita siya ng interest, pwede mo siyang i-transfer i, i again to your main account. So, yeah, which you can use for debit card purposes. Or, yun nga, if you want to use your, your, your funds. Next feature naman is yung GoSave account. So uh, again, I really love mga digital banks na merong merong a uh, feature kung saan you can separate your your money. You can separate your money. So meron kang like save fund, like confidence fund, or meron kang um, emergency funds or whatnot. Uh, but basically, yun talaga yung favorite feature ko in a digital bank. So so far, um, yung other digital banks na parang merong ganito. Kasi in Go Go Time, you can create up to five GoSave account. So etong five GoSave accounts, ah, uh, uh, they're all gonna earn like five percent interest per year. And so far in other digital banks, this can be comparable to Maya. So si Maya merong kang uh, savings, you can create mga savings goal. However, sa Maya kasi nakalock up siya. So like, you cannot withdraw easily. You really have to close the account. I-close mo talaga yung savings goal para makuha mo yung 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 pera mo. Sa uh, sa, sa ano tawag nito? Sa go time naman is you can just really withdraw it anytime. You can transfer it anytime. Tapos, uh, another one na comparable naman dito is yung sa Tonic Bank. So sa Tonic Bank, meron sila mga tinatawag na stashes. Ta sa stashes stashes <laughs> okay sa so, mga stashes so meron sa main account tapos you put them into mga sa separate stashes so parang ganun din yung concept with go time the, the sa tonic bank kasi parang 4% interest per year yung yung in, uh, yung interest niya per stash tapos uh, you could also move so basically parang similar siya with go time the only thing i love about go time compared with tonic kasi si tonic fully digital sila. They're not backed by any traditional bank. That's why uh, GoTime now is my new favorite because they have the same features at the same time uh, backed by Robinson or uh, by the Gokong Way group of companies. So, yun yung GoSave. Tapos, uh, ganito. Uh, this is also how it looks like once you create an a GoSave account. So, when it's Basically, just go to GoSave. Makikita mo yung mga, mga GoSave accounts mo. You can create one. And the good thing is, pwede siyang Pwede siyang may deadline. Pwede din may target target goal na savings. Pwede din wala. So, meron, mas marami kang flexibility. Tapos, pwede din auto-deduct from your main account. So, meron kang main account, auto-deduct na siya magsisave for you. So, basically, in terms of features, sobrang ganda yung features niya in terms of saving. Now, the next feature naman is yung Go Rewards. So, basically, every time you use or spend uh, using your GoTime account mo, kikita ka ng points. So, um, basically, hindi ko pa siya nagamit, kaya zero pa ito. But we actually tried this one. So, uh, uh, hindi ko siya mahanap yung, yung actual point system talaga sa website. But I found out na every time you spend your debit card, uh, tapos you spend it all mga partner, kasi meron siyang mga partner ito, ito yung mga partners nila, uh, you'll actually earn like three times rewards points. But if you use yung debit uh, debit account mo, debit card mo, go time debit card in any anything, uh, kikita ka ng points. However, if you use it sa mga partners nila, kikita ka ng three times na points. And then, in terms of point system, again nga, uh, this is something that I haven't found. So, may nakita lang ako in Reddit, like, if you spend like 600 
uh, worth of uh, 600 pesos, uh, kikita ka ng one point or something. Tapos, or uh, I believe depende din sa partner nila, let's say in another store naman is if you spend around 250, parang one point. So, uh, I haven't verified this one. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. But basically, meron sa point system na every time you spend a specific amount, kikita ka ng one point. Tapos, yung one point, yung one point mo is actually uh, equivalent to one peso. One peso. If you spend it sa mga partner companies nila. So let's say um, you spend it in Rose Pharmacy, you spend it in the Robinson's uh, Supermarket, you spend it in Cebu Pacific, one point is actually equal to one peso. However, if you ca if you cash out it, if you convert it into cash, parang 80, uh, ano tawag nito? 80% lang yung makukuha mo. Example, meron kang 100 points, if you decide to convert that into cash, parang 80 pesos lang yung makukuha mo in cash. But if you decide to spend it sa mga partner companies nila, then yung 100 points mo is equivalent to 100 pesos talaga. So sobrang sobrang ganda ko like meron silang saving savings features, meron din silang spending features. So parang rini reward ka rin for spending using your GoTime account, GoTime account mo. Actually, na try namin yung yung Go Time debit card, so we tried it in uh, in Robinson supermarket, tapos uh, in the grocery, tapos ah uh, sobrang excited namin. I forgot to take a video of it. I forgot to take a video of it. So yun nga, like we spent around para 700 plus in grocery. So just quick grocery lang para just to test it out. So we got actually nine points in return so which pretty good diba like you spent you spent money so my meron kang nine points so if we're gonna use that sa mga partner company so that's nine pesos but if we decide to convert that into into cash then that's around seven pesos which is pretty good na din so yeah um yun yung yun yung go rewards feature ni 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 go time tapos uh, in terms naman of cash in so it's very convenient ako personally uh in terms of cashing in very simple lang para sa akin like uh, as long as you can transfer Instapay from other bank, uh, the, all good naman. And so far, pwede siya. So you just, uh, for you to do that, you just need yung account number mo. So you just go itong parang profile na logo. And then dun mo makikita yung, yung account number mo. So in any bank, you just go to Instapay and then go to GoTime, search GoTime and add yung account number mo. And you can just cash in via doing that. So, ano, uh, natalong nyo uh, via, via Instapay. However, if, um, if you want to cash in naman like in uh, like wala kang other banks or what so pwede naman mag cash in so just click itong button na ito and then click mo itong cash in and makikita mo naman yung mga cash in options so like you can cash in in Robinson you can cash in in uh, ito yung mga options nila so yeah uh, in terms of benefits and features ni GoTime uh, so far approved uh, they are right now my they are right now my new favorite digital bank so yeah, that is how amazing GoTime Digital Bank is. So if meron ka ng, meron ka ng experience with GoTime, let me know in the comments section below if uh, pareho ba tayong experience, maganda ba din yung experience mo with GoTime. And so far, I'm loving the digital bank. So yeah, I hope you find this video valuable and helpful. And if you did, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Tapos consider subscribing so we can hit the silver play button and we can reach more Filipinos. And if you want to start your Lodi lifestyle journey with me, visit my website freedomlabph.com. Again, that's freedomlabph.com. I hope to see you inside. Once again, this is Tio Pilo. And yung goal natin is to live on dividends and interest. Bye-bye!